Oh, got one. Finally. All right, so we just got here. It's a little early, 6.30. Okay, walking, literally walking in Dalval Lake right now. As you can see, they've pretty much drained the lake um, for the winter months, which makes sense. But it also means the fish are concentrated, so it's good for fishing. But I'm walking around to the other side of the marina. This is a pretty good trout spot if you don't have a boat, which I don't, but this should be a good spot, and I think, I think we're gonna get lucky. Here we go. You serious? That's like that's like seven eight pounds. That's like seven eight pounds. Oh my gosh, that's a big fish. <laughs> Look at that man on that tiny little cast master. What is that, nine pounds? Yeah. Oh my gosh. That's a trophy. Tiny little cast master, huh? All right, so as you can see, I have caught nothing. I have no fish with me. It's been about three hours. Um, a guy right next to me at the very beginning of the day caught like a nine pound trout. But that was the only action I've seen on the entire lake. And um, I did the same thing he was doing for like two hours. Then I went on a walk down towards the uh, spot where a lot of other people are fishing for, from shore. No one down there had any action. The last plant was like three weeks ago. There's supposed to be a plant this week, maybe even today, but no fish for me yet. I've seen some cool stuff, but not a fish in my hands. I'm gonna go back to my spot over here though. I have some mice tail set up with a bell. It's possible they've had some action since I've been gone. We'll find out. Okay, so absolutely nothing was working for me at Dalval. It was supposed to be really hot there today, but there was just nothing biting. I don't think I got a single bite for six hours. And uh, the one guy that did get a bite right next to me caught a huge trout, which was really cool to see. Um, I could have caught that one very easily. It was just the luck of the draw. Anyway, um, still have a whole day left. Well, not really yet. Four hours of daylight left. Heading over to Los Vaqueros, which is on um, Vasco Road, which we're on right now. This is the south side of Vasco Road, and Vaqueros is right on the, it's an exit on the north side, so it'll take us about 25 minutes to get there, see if we can catch a fish today. We really gotta catch a fish. It's been a while, and just gotta break the skunk. Let's make it happen. Okay, so just talked to the nice gentleman at the front kiosk, and he stated that there was actually a plant today of 1,200 pounds of mountain lasm trout. 
So that should be good news for us. I mean, we don't know exactly where they planted or where those fish are gonna be, but at least we know that there's fish in the reservoir. All right, let's do it. Good luck, fishy. Yeah, I'm gonna do this. Oh, we got the boat. Yeah. Okay, so we got power bait on one hook and then mice tail and garlic on another hook. Tons of people up and down here. They just planted today. That guy just caught a nine pound. Far enough? Off to the left. If you look over his left shoulder. Oh yeah, yeah. His nice. Left shoulder. Oh. Uh, going in? Nice. That's cool. There's an awesome little school. <laughs> That's a big one. You see me? Got a big one right now. Right now? You just did? Yes. Right there? Yep. Damn, bro. I saw it cruising around on top of the water. Jig right in front of him. Boom. Followed in. How big? Six, seven. Shoot, man. I just need to get one. <laughs> <laughs> Was it right over there at that spot? Right here. Yeah. You keep him? Yeah. I kept the big one. Oh, got one. Finally. Sweet. First fish of the day at the end of the day. This one fish took a lot of money and a long time. How long have you guys been here? An hour. Okay. How about you? Um, probably like three hours. I went to Dalval though today at 7 a.m. Mm -hmm. And there's nothing at Dalval. Yeah, just out of the money. Oh shoot, I had him. Okay. Yeah. I've been working on him for like five minutes. Oh, he's going away now. So I'm not a great bird watcher or identifier, but this looks like an osprey, I think. And it was really cool because it had actually picked up a really big trout itself. And it was, I recorded this right here, but it was actually circling for a lot longer. And it was kind of just showing off to all the fishermen on the shore that it had caught this really big trout and no one else had. And then it perched in this tree and it did, I thought it was going to start eating this fish, but it didn't. It just kind of perched in the tree and balanced and then it headed off um, to the other side of the lake where it eventually started doing something else with the fish. But it's pretty cool. I've seen this one here a couple different times. Ooh, 
there's like, dude, there's a ton over here. There's like 20 over here right now. Whew. They're running away though. Yeah, I saw like literally a school of like 25 of them run by. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Uh, this is a great trip, even though I only caught a couple there, or actually only caught one. But I started off the day at Dow Vout, 7 a.m., and nothing was really biting. I threw everything I could at them. Castmaster spoons, spinners, power bait, mice tails. Then I headed over to Los Vaqueros. Um, it's really not too far from Dalvao to Los Vaqueros. It only took about 25 minutes. So if you start off at one of them and it's not hot, go to the other one. And over here, when I got to Los Vaqueros, there was a ton of people fishing. It was lined and I barely had a spot to fish. So I, I kind of like talked to some people, met some friends and kind of was just friendly. That's, that's the way you got to do it when you're fishing. You're just talking to people and some people are really neighborly, some aren't, you know, you're gonna figure that out. But you know, it's really fun to be nice and just kind of fun out there while you're fishing and make some new friends. But I really recommend these two lakes. It was a great day of fishing. If you like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe below. It's a lot of fun going out there in NorCal and figuring out these great spots to fish. All right, everybody, thanks for watching.